hello and welcome back so last time this is where we left off all right now let's go ahead and style everything so that it looks like our design okay so the first thing we're going to style is the sign up button the one which says new here go ahead and sign up all right so this one should be prob we should be pretty simple and what we're going to do here is we're going to create a new widget for it because we might need to style another button the same way all right so for now we're going to create that new widget in our kv file okay so how you create a new widget in kv is basically the same notation and you give it a name so for me i'm just going to give it a name and call it a flat button all right and now it has to inherit from another widget so that kv knows what it's going to be doing all right so to inherit you simply use the add symbol just like that all right so flat button it's going to inherit from a button which means it's going to be able to do whatever a normal kv button can do all right so flat button so all we want to do is simply remove the background of our normal button okay so we'll simply say background normal which means when the button hasn't been pressed all right so what's happening is this background normal contains the path to an image that Kiwi uses to sort of show you a button. So that color which looks like this, which you saw when we ran our application, that is actually an image. So setting it to none simply overrides that image. So now we don't have an image as our background. All right. Now, the second thing is the background color. All right. So by default, our button has a background color. So if I set my color to something like white, my button by default is going to have a white color. But for me, I want to set it to white, but with zero opacity, which means basically you won't be able to see the color. OK, so that is that for our button here. So now we can go back to our new here sign in and instead of using a button we can now use our new widget which is called a flat button okay so for our flat button i actually want to use a color all right so i want to change the default color of our text so after changing our color what color do you want to use okay so i want to use my rgba color which is this one so I'll just go ahead and oops, copy that. All right, so copy that and I want to paste it in here. OK, now control S to save this. So now if we go back to our terminal and run this, we should now have a flat button. OK, so as you can see, we have new here, sign up. All right, so styling as far as styling that is concerned, we are done. Now let's go ahead and we'll come back to this button but for now i just want to style the text inputs okay so let's go back to our code and what i'm going to do now is for our text inputs we are going to create a widget again okay so go ahead and use that notation and i'm going to call this a flat input okay oopsie this is actually supposed to go outside okay so right there and actually we forgot to inherit so our flat input inherits from a standard text input okay all right so that's what we have and text input is supposed to be capital all right so for our text input all i want to do is first things first i want to say background underscore active all right which means when the text input is focused, I'm not sure if it's background active or background focused. Okay, but for now, let's just try background active. All right, so we'll just leave it as it is. And actually, let me just control S to save. And let's just try to run this to make sure it's background active, not background focused. Yep, it is not background active. All right, so what we're going to do now is we need to change this. Okay. So let's go ahead and change this from background active to background. Let's just try. Oh, actually, I think it's. Oh, 
yeah the reason why background active is not working is because we haven't changed our text input into a flat input all right so now this is the input we are going to use to test our application all right so now let's go back to our flat input here so background active we set it to nothing now we need to set background normal all right so when our when our input is not active okay so now control s to save and now let's try this okay and yep there we have it so now this background image is gone and if we click this it's still gone okay so this is background normal if we click this back this image right here is background active all right so let's close that and now we can actually start styling our input so for this what we're going to do is i'm actually going to say background underscore color and i'm going to set this to one and opaque okay and what i'm going to do is here i'm going to say canvas dot before because we want to draw that line okay and i'm simply going to say color all right and the rgba value of our color is rgba and hashtag oops and hashtag and then paste in our color right there all right now that we have our color we can now draw a rectangle on our text input okay so you notice that we drew a rectangle but we drew it so that it looks like a line so the the position is going to be self dot pause no problem but the size now is going to be a list and self dot size zero all right which means it should stretch as far as it stretches on the x-axis but on the y-axis i'm just going to make it one pixel long okay so flat input there we have it now let's go ahead and try this all right and there we have it small line on our password field and if we click we still have that and we can now type in our password all right so our flat input is looking great so all we have to do now is go back and also use the same input for our username all right so instead of text input we are now going to use flat input okay so that's done everything is looking great here but if you notice let me just control s to save and just show you what i mean all right so if you notice everything is all stacked up to the end okay if this is the kind of effect you want then just go ahead and leave it as it is but for me i want to push these towards the center so we have some padding here okay so how I'm going to do that is actually just a one liner. So on our box layout, go up here, just type in padding. All right. And remember our MTX that we imported and we're going to use DP. Okay. And this is going to use uh, what is called uh, density independent pixels. Okay. So MTX.DP and I actually want about 20 padding on the left and right and on the bottom and top i want to leave it as zero all right so this should be a list so let's make it look like a list all right control s to save and now if we run this we should have that okay so as far as the sign in screen is concerned i think we are home free right i'm actually going to increase my labels text size all right because i don't like it but if you like it on your half then obviously you can just leave it as it is okay so here i am going to increase this to let me just try 154 all right and let's see what we get all right so i think i'm actually satisfied with this okay so now let's style that button before we close this so for our button we are actually going to use a f let's just create another button okay or hmm i don't know no actually let's see 
let's use a flat button which is styled okay so just say flat button here and then let's change our canvas settings so canvas dot before right and i want to give this button that smooth look so i'll just say color right and then rgba and then our rgba color of course so hashtag and it should be our color all right so now we can instead of using a rectangle this time we're going to use a rounded rectangle okay which gives it that rounded smooth edge okay and it's rounded capital letter rectangle all right just like that so now we have the position which is self dot pause all right then we have the size which is obviously self dot size so whatever the size the button has then finally the property that i was looking forward to the radius the radius is basically how round your rounded rectangle is so this should be a list of coordinates so for me for my rounded rectangle i'm actually going to say about let's just say 20 i'll just go with 30 all right for now to see what we get okay so i'll just go back and run this and there we have it our sign in button smoothed out okay but for me i think that is too smooth okay so i'm just going to reduce it drastically so i'll go with 10 if you like that effect then go ahead and use that but for me i'm going to go with 10 yep 10 which looks like this all right so there you have it our sign in screen created and done all right so we're going to stop here for this one if you have any questions whatsoever then go ahead and ask them in the question section otherwise as always i'm samuel and i'll see you guys in the next one